Good morning or afternoon. Afternoon. Um, Keep making that mistake. We left you on a bit of a cliffhanger yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. we're not in the house right now no we didn't stay in the house last night because um, we're not gonna stay in the house until after Christmas we're just moving Probably, stuff down yeah it's not really worked out yeah we're not staying in the house till after Christmas because we just thought that was a more sensible option with all the things that are happening don't want to have to like feel like we need to Because when you when you move house you have to like sort things out don't you you have to sort everything and have internet and um, sort your bed out sort your food out yeah. and it's just easier because everything's accessible and normal at my parents so we're going to do that in the new year when we're not so busy yeah. um, I'm not feeling my, my best today I've had a bit of an IBS flare-up um, because of the stress and because we had a huge pizza and chips and Prosecco last night um, and I had Prosecco as celebration I've taken to having a glass of wine or whatever here and there the last couple of weeks when I've needed a bit of celebration and de-stressing yeah I had um, some wine um, when we were in London and then I had yep. some Prosecco last night yep um, I'm finding a balance <laughs> but um, yeah I'm just not feeling my best today I'm feeling very drowsy very sick this morning I was not well felt really tired when I woke up um, I'm sure any of you guys who have IBS can understand how it feels it's not the best and stress is a trigger for me and then if I have too much like gluten or oil or whatever it just makes it worse so yesterday I just had a bit too much and it was all a, all a, it's been a lot it's just been accumulating and I'm feeling a little bit stressed and a little bit low still because I don't know it takes a while for you to snap out of it even though we've got the house and I'm so elated and yesterday I was so excited it's just well it's like you realize you've been so focused on the house and yeah you realize oh here's all these other things I'm yeah off. so like work and and going to London and plans in January yeah. and Christmas and presents and yeah, it's yeah. just my mind is a bit muddled. But, but we, we had a good morning of, you did a video. Yeah. We, and we planned presents and we kind of planned, we tried to plan the rest of Vlogmas and January. And I think that really helped. Yeah, it did help my brain. So everything's planned and sorted. And um, yeah, Vlogmas is gonna, we've kind of not uploaded for a few days, but I mean, we okay. haven't had the physical time to do it. So I think we've done well. I, I didn't think, think we'd we do so well. I didn't think we'd do this I well this time. Yeah. Well, you, when, before we started Vlogmas, you were saying maybe we'll just, you know, some days we'll just group two or three days together. Mm. But we haven't done that yet. We might do that when we're in Lon when I'm in London. Yeah, that's the only one. Or I might not. If I feel like I don't want to vlog, I just won't. Yeah. We're about to go to the house and we will show you officially which house it is because we haven't shown you officially you might no. have guessed I, I had some I can't remember what we actually filmed it's probably quite obvious in the end I mean we we have I have had some guesses on Instagram because I did post on Instagram and I've had some we've had some guesses in the comments yeah because we talked about um, the renovations wasn't. yeah it's the cute little cottage and I know that um, lots of you guys when we did the viewings weren't keen nobody yeah. liked it yeah but um, it's difficult on camera to explain houses or show you them because obviously there were people there and estate agents and just, you can only film so much yeah. without being awkward. But this house was the best for the price. It was the best in terms of what you can do to it. So it has room to, for improvement. So it's a really good investment. The one that everyone loved, I think it was number five. That was not a good investment because you wouldn't be able to um, up the value of that, that the property. One that basically brand new. Basically the, brand. A little dog. Yeah, with the um, graveyard outside. So oh, there yeah. was no garden space, which was up there as one of our top priorities yeah. to have a garden. It only had a little That's courtyard. Why we didn't get anywhere in Brighton. Yes. We didn't get a flat because we wanted garden space. Exactly. We really wanted garden space. Didn't have any garden space. It also. Um, it was felt more like a flat than a house because of the way it was it was in a building that used to be i think a chapel and it was separated into little houses but it felt like an apartment for that reason yeah. and it was already all done so if you lived there you'd buy it and then you'd sell it for the same price you wouldn't be able to improve and gain value um you can't measly, extend a measly two bedrooms yeah had only had two bedrooms the kitchen, the kitchen was dark and um the kitchen was in the middle of the the room so you couldn't extend yeah, yeah the house we have bought is a beautiful four bedroom cottage and we'll show you properly I think I'm doing a house tour on my, my channel yeah. it's got four bedrooms which is huge for the same price as the other houses which only had two 
Um, it has a funny little bit out the back, which a lot of you were concerned with, but we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna do a kitchen extension. So um, the kitchen will no longer be in the middle of the house like it is. There will no longer be that very odd utility space and bathroom space. We're gonna do a kitchen extension. We'll change the, where the kitchen is now into a bathroom and a corridor. And then the little dining room space will become a study and upstairs will stay pretty much the same. We're just gonna move the bathroom a little bit into the yeah. middle so you can access it from, because right now it's an ensuite. So and we want to make it... It's a sunny flow as well. Yeah. Not a proper toilet, really. So we want to make it accessible from the corridor, the hallway. So if people come to stay, it's accessible and put a bath in there because we, when we eventually sell it one day, for a family will probably want to buy it. And a bathroom upstairs is obviously much more convenient. So we're going to do loads to the house and it has a lot of potential. Also, the location of it is beautiful. It's just the dream and it's, it's a really old cottage. It has so much character, which was really up there. Both of us wanted somewhere yeah. with character, which the other one didn't have as much of. I mean, it had beautiful high ceilings and windows, but we do love the cottage feel. And also, do you want to say something about the height of the ceilings? Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of controversy yeah. about the height of the ceilings. Ceilings don't bother me. And when I first went in, I actually liked the that it was slightly lower because we've lived in a flat with giant ceilings and it's very cold. Yeah, it's and not cosy. it takes cozy. a lot to heat it. Yeah. I like that cosy feel. I have to duck slightly to get out of the living room, but that's it, and maybe up the stairs a bit, but the, honestly, that's it. And the bedroom's actually a nice height. The bedrooms upstairs are really nice height ceilings, yeah. and it's only the doorway through to the living room and the beam in the living room and the stairs. But the, the clip that everyone saw in the vlog was Alex yeah. standing in the archway, which we're gonna make into a pantry so it will yeah. no longer be a walkway through. So it won't matter, yeah. he'll never have to walk and duck and knock his head. He was I just kidding. Go that way anyway. It is just so cute and you'll see what we do with it. It's got so much potential and um, it's gonna be a real fixer-upper, but it's perfect to live in as is, which is what we wanted. So we're so excited and we're gonna document the whole renovation process, the whole kitchen extension, the whole, we're gonna probably start with the upstairs and change the bathroom, but um, we're gonna be documenting all of it and I'm just so excited because it's gonna be a really big project and something I've always wanted to do and when we were there yesterday, I was just looking at it thinking, I can, we can do what we want with this. We can make it all how we want. And I'm just so excited, but we'll, we'll show you properly in a minute. And, ooh, burp. And also um, for the full house tour, um, yeah. go to my channel. But we'll show you like, we'll go in and show you anyway and like little bits and things we're gonna do. Ah. So we've done the apartment tour. You can go check that out up here. Um, <laughs> Christ, Alex, oh my God. <laughs> that is not gonna become a thing. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, yeah, but. You really jumped. Cause it was terrifying, cause I thought you were behind I me. Know. Perfect. I love that there's two ways to get around the house. <laughs> no, that's not gonna be, no. I'm gonna hide in the cupboard. No, you're not. No, you're And in the no, middle of the night, not. I'm just gonna scratch the door. No. So in that video, I feel like I just gave away all of our plans, all of yeah. our renovation plans, which will probably change. Yeah. We need to well, get rid of those lampshades. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first thing we need to we get rid of. Some... We had some really nice ones when we lived I just in don't think parents. You just don't want lampshades in this room this small. You want ceiling lights, uh, spotlights. Oh yeah, that's true. Because it's just too much. I don't know how that would work with this kind of ceiling, but I have Easily. no idea about electricity. <laughs> things but yeah I'm just so excited like this room I can't wait to fix the fireplace we're gonna make it really cute and we'll yeah. maybe get a projector yeah we said in the other video we did a yeah. vote and I haven't actually seen the results of uh... we were, we're trying to decide whether to do a TV or a projector above here because yeah. we're gonna get rid of all this horrible fireplace stuff and we're just gonna make it really small like tiny little fireplace with a little shelf on the top I've already got nails in would you? yeah there must have been paintings there yeah or something um but we Maybe figured if we hang the tv on there <laughs> we figured if we had a shelf here we could have a projector and books and other things yeah we're also trying to figure i was trying to figure out like whether we should do french doors here like open doors to the garden or not because the issue is it's like lovely but then what about the sofa well, we'd have to change our sofa we could always cut you know because that's detachable that wouldn't have to be there yeah but you don't i just really love l-shaped sofas because you can fit so many more people on them yes so we'd have True. to figure out a sofa. Maybe we could buy a different L-shaped sofa that's a bit smaller, or one that L-shapes that way. Yeah. Because mm. this one, you can't do that, I can mean, you? I think the French doors is probably one of the more last important. things. Oh yeah, this, by the way, yeah. 
all these renovations probably won't happen for like six months to a year because yeah. or maybe even longer because we've got to yeah. save the money up for it because we've just bought a house we have no money and then we have to um obviously book it all in and get it done and things always take a lot longer than mm. you expect these carpets are actually not bad you know though but i yeah. probably would i don't know i feel like i'd want to put um wood floors in or maybe carpet. Yeah, you wanted to do that upstairs as well. Yeah, upstairs has beautiful. Um, I like carpet in a house because it keeps it warm. Yeah, my favorite. One of my favorite things though is the corridor, the hallway, this wall. I just think it's so cottagey and beautiful. Like, look, my mum even said that she's, she was like, oh, we're in our new house. When we get a new house, we're gonna do this because it's so lovely. <laughs> um, but yeah, someone's done a really, really poor paint job on it. You can see, like, the paint is like dripping. So I'm gonna sand this all down, and I think that it would look lovely in a light grey and then I want to paint all of the doors white because they aren't original doors, they're lovely and cottagey but they're not original ones or anything they f seem quite new um, and the frames, I want to paint them all white and all the rooms white as well and look at these curtains they're very interesting Alex! <laughs> what are you doing? Look how big this table is. It's such a big table. So let me tell you about this table. This table was my parents and it used to be a table that you take onto a ship because the legs, the feet, the legs um, come unscrewed and it's a really old table. It's been in my family. I think I remember sitting at this table when I was a kid. I remember my mum was saying, oh, do you remember making Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations and drawing on this table? Mm. Um, certainly seen some action. Yeah, it's very dirty. So we used to have it when we lived in Cornwall. Do any of you guys remember? But it's very dirty, so I'm going to be sanding it and cleaning it all up and making it like new, but it's just such a gorgeous table. So I'm very lucky to have that. And then our chairs from our flat in Brighton, I'm going to be painting those black and then buying other chairs that don't quite match. Mm. Are you just doing a tune over there? <coughs> oh. Alex, stop it. Hi. So I'm gonna be getting some chairs that don't really match, but like are mismatched and cool. I've seen that on Pinterest what? and I think it looks nice. Hey, can somebody tell us what, what the ruddy heck is this? Yeah, it's like a little shallow sink. What's that for? I can only think it's like for rinsing your dishes. Bum? Maybe your bum, but probably Wait. dishes, but then ugh, it doesn't seem very good. It just blocked the drain. Somebody this, will know. This kitchen is already so much better than our other kitchen because yeah. there's two sides to it. I mean, yeah. it's uh, it's it's a bit gross and like really dirty, and but the hob is better the hob is the... better, yeah. and it's better for filming because I can film like Alex can like properly film me and I can talk in there, and I can do like intros in the kitchen and we yeah. can have the lights we'll have and the lights and we can we can and there's do... so much space like there's all this we can space do cooking shows together yeah but all will be changed when we finally do the kitchen extension but um. Yeah, like look at this beautiful wall. We're gonna keep this so that when we have our kitchen, there'll be this wall just like this, and it's so lovely. And these archways, which I think is just so cool. And this will be my pantry, which I'm so excited for. I think I'm gonna, I already said this in the other video, so I'm just repeating myself now, but I'm gonna make this into a lovely pantry and have all of my dreams met. This guy's looking a bit sad. He is. Mm. This um, lovely sink, I'm so excited that this sink is here. Like, look at it. I'm excited for this area. It's a nice sink and it's a new boiler. Yeah. So. And whilst it's like this, we can put all our clothes here to dry. Oh yeah, so it's not in our bedroom. And that must have been where the washing up machine was. Oh my gosh. So when you have a house, you forget that when you're renting, you don't have to buy things like a washing machine. You need to buy a fridge. We need to buy a fridge. We don't have a fridge. And I don't want to buy a new fridge because when we do our kitchen up, I'll probably get a better fridge. Yeah. So we're going to get a second hand fridge. Just something Temporarily. To, yeah. We already have to cut down on our freezer space then. Yeah, and then like, yeah, this is the little bathroom, which will be probably our main bathroom. I don't know, because it's downstairs. Maybe we won't use it that much. They'll watch the tour, because I know that we're not properly showing you everything, but that's in the video. But I'm going to go upstairs. It smells really nice. And here they had like some kind of potpourri, potpourri or something. <laughs> I'm actually really pleased with the size of our bedroom. Alex, <laughs> go and try. Try and pull you off? Yeah. I don't want to hurt, hurt your ankle though. Go on. <laughs> that was really fun. That was really fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, <laughs> I feel like I've, I've, we've like left it a secret for so long 
and now I've told you, I've given everything away. Like I watch other people and they're like, oh, we're gonna show you, it's gonna be a secret what we're gonna be doing with the house and we'll show you the room in a minute. Ah! Oh my god. Ah. Up you get. No, just let me chill out. <laughs> um, yeah, people were like, we'll show you the dining room when it's all done and like, I just feel like... No. I want to show you it all because we've kept, we've kept it all so quiet. Oh, what a lovely view. I know, it's so just nice. Trees, so when we're lying know. here, can you see? No. So when we're lying here, no. from, our, from our view, we can just see the sky and the trees. Yeah. Nothing else. One really nice tree. And that'll be even nicer in the summer because they're all a bit bare. Mm. And we're going to get a new bed frame. I'm going to get a lovely wooden bed frame. Yeah, we got rid of the other one, sadly. And I really love this room. It feels so much cosier and lovely. Oh, like yeah. The ceilings are really nice height, but they're not as high as they were in Brighton. Yeah. And it's actually a really lovely size because the bedroom in Brighton was just a bit too big, I think. We didn't really fill it. It was all right. Uh, I liked it and I didn't like it in a way. Yeah. Um, well, because we had the bike bo bike on the wall yeah. and then we had the wardrobe, but like here, there's this hanging rail here. And that's so where we can hang the bike. <laughs> no, but we can have our wardrobe there. I don't think I can see because your hair's in the way. Oh, sorry, that's there, look, you can <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, there we go. And um, we've got to figure out where to put the bikes, you know. I think we're going to have to b uh, build a bike shed out the back because it wouldn't fit well, in that, that shed. there's that option and there's, I don't think they should, unless you, flipped it up because there'll be other things in the no, shed. No, I think I the shed should be, because we're going to want to do gardening and we're going to want to look after our own vegetables. That shed should be our gardening shed and tool shed. And then we yeah. should get, buy a bike shed. You I looked them online for them. Cheap. Yeah. We can mm -hmm. access our garden from the front. There's a driveway and then a gate. So we have access through the back. So when we come oh, yeah, home. So we just cycle around. Yeah, so you just cycle yeah. around the back. You don't have to drag the bike through the oh, house. I didn't think of that. That's really handy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So many exciting things. Mm. So many exciting things. And I can't wait, like, when we move in, the first thing that I want to do is paint the doors. Because I think that would be such a big difference. What Black. White. Purple. Like, I did have a minute, I was thinking, hmm, should I keep them? And I looked at them closer, White I was like, no, doors, they're... Eh? I thought, no, they aren't, they aren't original, so why would I no, try and save them? And I, think they, I looked on Pinterest, at, like, I was Googling, like, cottage houses, and I saw lots <laughs> of these kinds of um, doors that were white, and I think they looked but lovely. does it matter that the kind of frame is the I'll wood paint the frame colour. as well. Then would you paint all the skirting board? Yes. Okay. So all the skirting boards, so it will make the rooms feel bigger. When all the, mm. I want a couple of the rooms to be a, a sort of an off white and a couple of the rooms to be an off gray. And then um, all of the skirting boards white and all of the frames white. Okay. I've already made this decision, Alex. All right, well, I want a new front door. Yes, new front door. Cause that's yeah. very annoying. Yeah. And um, keep watching our videos so that we can afford this. <laughs> Because it's going to cost so much money. Yeah, if any of you want to like send us stuff or <laughs> if any of you are like doing like up a new bathroom and you just want to give us your old bathroom, <laughs> something like that. Well, we can do that. There are, so you can, yards. we're going to give our old bathroom to the reclamation. There's a reclamation yard nearby and yeah. we're also going to be doing lots of secondhand hunting. I'm not going to be doing it the classic way where you get everything brand new. Some of it will get brand new, but like yeah. I'm going to try my hardest. Even I've even heard that you can get secondhand kitchens. We're going to get some wood and whatnot from Reclamation yeah. Yards anyway, build a desk, that sort build of thing. Build a desk, we want to build another desk and we want to use some like wood to build the on, for, for use the, above the fireplace and for shelves. Ah, yes, that would be it. And I, want to, I really want to, because I know that one day, five years or whatever, one day we'll sell this house. I really want to like bring some value into it and I know that mm -hmm. storage space is something that's so important. And I want to put yeah. like shelves and cupboards built in and all that type of thing yeah. in some yeah. of these rooms. Yeah, could do with a few more shelves. Yeah, and some of the rooms have kind of like corners like there where you can build in because yeah. it's otherwise it's kind like of just if, pointless if we can get rid of that old chimney as yeah well. yeah that's something that's going to be a bit tricky so in the tour video i pointed out that this here is the old chimney breast but there's no chimney in there there's no fireplace there anymore so downstairs they got rid of it to make space into the kitchen but this they've not bothered to do because it obviously costs money so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to have to find out how much that will cost but it yeah. will it'll give so much more space to the smaller room um, yeah, the small room is. Yeah, it'll make it. It'll I make it the it was, same space. It'll make it pretty much the same size as the other ones. So I it thought won't be it was small. the ensuite, but it's not. It's just. It's the chimney. It's just the like dead space. But, so we'll yeah. get rid of the chimney, but then we'll have to eat in a little bit for the bathroom to have access from the hallway. Yeah, you swap swap the chimney for some more bathroom space yeah. and access for all the house yeah. instead of 
because we had that situation in Brighton too where guests had to go through our bedroom to get to the bathroom and yeah. we just don't want that yeah. also for resale yeah for um, families and that, for families yeah. it's much more convenient to have a communal bathroom anyway we are just verb verbal diarrheaing all yeah. over you guys one of your favorite phrases that yeah we'll get started on all the little things we'll get builders in and architects and get quotes and plan out the year and when we're going to get everything done yeah hopefully sooner rather than later but you never know with these things i have watched we've watched our fair share of homes under the hammer and um you know yeah i'm pretty sure we can get this done in six to eight weeks <laughs> i've watched so i've been obsessed with like home renovation tv shows since i was oh, a kid I love homes under the hammer we love it and we yeah. know that things take a lot longer than you I love expect that in like 10 15 years the style of the show has never changed the music stayed the same the editing stayed the yeah. same it's great yeah it will take time also the fact that we're living here and working here um, we'll also slow things up a bit because we can't just go away and, or well, we could do, but I wouldn't want to go away because I would want to be monitoring yeah. it. But you're a bit more free, I guess. Yeah. Now, what a house. Anyway. I well, think we need to prioritise, we'll figure out what our priorities are for like sorting out first. Yeah. Maybe up but here. The best thing is this house is perfect as it is. Oh, we're yeah. so grateful yeah. for how it is now. It's just the most beautiful home and we're so grateful. So we could live in it like this for the next few years and be perfectly happy. Just do a bit of painting and I'd love it. As long as we had like a TV and a projector. Yeah. We'd be fine. Like I know when we put all our furniture yeah. in and put everything away, I'm going to love it as it is. Yeah. You know, and it's going to be wonderful. But I think the first thing we'll do is the chimney in the bathroom because that would be really useful to do. And the upstairs and, like, the floorboards and stuff because those are simple things. Mm. And the painting. Well, we were watching that show where they had the floorboards but they hadn't... Do they have a carpet under it in London? And then they exposed them. Yeah, it was beautiful. Them, and then they, like, made... They're always, like, a... You seal them. She's made her own sealant. Mm. And then she had like a Henry Hoover with like a vacuum mm. and like a sander at the same time. So you have to seal them because you don't want the air to come up from downstairs and it's like kitchen and smells dust, and stuff yeah. and dust and stuff. That would um, be so cool to sand, to sand that and sort that away. It would out. look so gorgeous. Wow. They will look so gorgeous. And this house, I feel like every house I've lived in, like even though I loved the flat in Brighton, I knew that it wasn't our home and I knew we wouldn't be living mm. there for long. So I never really bothered to make it our own and never really like put any money into it or any time. We just kind of moved in. We had it as it was. and it Never really hung anything on the walls. Didn't either. hang anything on the walls. We didn't really like go out and get... We, we, on the, on, when we first moved in, we went and got some bits and then we kind of left it as is. I was just too lazy to hang stuff. No. Like even the, the the second bike frame, I just gave up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I think it's because I always have that mentality of I'm like, I, I want to be sensible with my money. And I think, what is the point in me spending even £10 or £20 on something for this home when it's not mine yeah. and I could be moving out of it soon? And I, I think because in the summer we knew we'd be moving, we never bothered. No. <laughs> After a few months, it was like, well, we've only got like eight or nine months left here. So what's the point? Yeah. So this house, I just can't wait. I'm so into interior design and I'm so into just all of it. I can't wait. Cleaning is like the first Cleaning. order. It's actually not dirty at all. But it's like just the kitchen. Maybe around the windows and yeah. get some cobwebs. Yep. Because it hasn't been lived in for a while. Yeah. But considering that, it's in a good But it state. was rented, so it's it's been kept nicely. Yeah. We finally happened. It worked. It all paid off. It's ours. Oh. Best part was that we never disagreed. We have the same opinion when it comes to houses, which Pretty I much. was worried about. I thought, hmm, maybe you'll heal like something different to me. There were some that you didn't like much that I liked more, but mm. when it came to this one, we both agreed. Yeah, um, it made yeah. sense. And that's, that's, that's when you know it's right. We had the right, yep. it, when I walked in, I was like, I just know, mm. this, is it, this is it, I can live here. And I'm just so happy. Character. Character. That's what they always say on property shows. And, indefinable character mm. that is yep. just is right for you yes and this is this is anyway also the village is pretty sweet. oh my gosh that is something that's something that we can't communicate as well on camera yeah. is the location of it is unreal so in cornwall um the the main city is truro and that's 20 25 minutes away and then the other big big town it's not a city but there's only one city in cornwall <laughs> but the other big town which is by the sea and it's my favorite place in cornwall is yeah. falmouth and that is such a cool place, Falmouth. And then St. Ives, which is your favourite place, is like half an hour away. So it's slap bang, in the middle. It's where you want to be. It's it's such a good place. And it's not like a through route or anything, and it, but it's close to the main roads. And there's so many mm. Actually, supermarkets nearby. And the supermarkets are great. Yeah. Because um, you think you being in a place like this, you'd be so far away from everything. But you're yeah, not. we're not. And I, I already know the way now. 
Yeah, it's so easy out. to get to. Yeah. Like the roads are lovely because they're they're like perfect to even cycle on. There's like signs for cyclists and again that was an appeal. Something that mm. you could never like bring across in a video mm. is the roads the and the roads. cycling that was so great here. Straight out the door, we're on beautiful yeah. roads that are safe to cycle on and it's in the countryside. And in this in this village there's a there's a farm shop near us which is huge. Mm. There's um uh, market, market every Saturday. This this village is like really busy and there's lots going on and it's just, it's a perfect location, it's a community. So it doesn't feel like we're like detached from the world or anything and- yeah, the man already came up yesterday. Yesterday their neighbors already introduced, we've already met like hello. four people yeah. since the like, random few days we've done viewings mm. and moved and stuff. We've met so many people already. Maybe we should go to the pub. <laughs> yeah, and the people in the pub are lovely. There's a real community pub was here. Nice. really like the pub. Yeah. And um, there's a lake, and it's just the most. We're so happy. Mm. We're so happy. It's got a public toilet as well, <laughs> tennis courts. Yeah. It's got everything. Yeah, it's got everything we want. I'm so happy. And one day, if we have children, there's a school. No, we're, I don't think we'll stay here for that long. <sighs> I'm joking. I ain't, we ain't having children until I'm at least 31, 32. Really? No. Hmm. Maybe 30. 30. But then you have to wait like three or four years for, before they even go to school, so. Yeah. Anyway, I, that's a long way off. Wait till your 26 to 30 rail card runs out and then you'll know it's time. Yeah, that's a long way off. We ain't going to have children for a while. And there's some people who are like, just have babies. <laughs> no, the well, only baby we're going to be having is Zeus. Oh, yeah. We're not going to have Zeus, though, until my parents move the house because we don't, wanna, baby now. we don't want to disrupt him and we want him to be happy. So. Yeah, and we'd like to get maybe some building work done. If we'll, some, yes. I say building work. I mean, like, some... Res uh, renovations done without him being terrified the whole time of yeah. building work and stuff. And he's so happy where he is that we'll only uproot him when he, when he needs when to be. When he needs to be, yeah. Mm. Think of him first. As much as I'd love to have him straight away, he's happy. So yeah. until my parents and move... We'll be, we'll be seeing him... Yeah, all the time. Probably fairly regularly. Yeah, so uh, uh, until my parents move house, and they have to, because I don't know if you guys know, but the reason is because... He's separate from my dogs. He's in a flat where a friend of ours lives, which is attached to our parents' house. Where we used to live. Where we used to live, yeah. And um, he's happy in there. And our friend who looks after him is in love with him and yeah. she loves him and it's all perfect. <laughs> and until my parents need to move and when they do get a house, they won't know what to do because the, there won't be that situation where there's a separate place for Zeus to be. He will just be with the dogs and he can't do that because they don't get on. So no. he ran away because he was so scared of the dogs. So yeah. We Those will have him then. Some of the then. first videos on your channel, I like know. when we found Zeus. Throwback. Yeah. This video is going to be like 40 minutes long at this rate. Oh well. It's all right. You guys like the chats. It's all right. It's and all right. I'm sorry if I've been talking over Alex. I'm just excited. I still I'm love ha him. I'm perfectly happy for you to talk. Then I don't have to talk. <laughs> I still love him. I'm I can just, just lie here on the bed. <laughs> I I just talk a lot. I'm just an excited person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the battery is flashing. It's flashing. That's that saying something. Stop talking, Maddie. We're gonna go enjoy the house and unpack the car. Yep. Bye. Oh, we haven't even unpacked the car. <laughs> Bye.